Detoxification is the process in which the body eliminates toxins from, from the system. And so it promotes overall health and it's a great thing to do. So let's get into some ways that you can detoxify your body. So obviously the best way to start a detox is to stop letting these toxins into your body. So whether that be watching what you eat or what you put on your skin. So when it comes to putting things on your body, for example, lotions, sometimes lotions have things that aren't, you know, the healthiest. And so, so instead of using lotion, you can substitute that for like coconut oil. That's what I do. And there's other little tweaks that aren't necessarily, you know, hard to do, but they do make a big difference. Also, when it comes to things that we're eating, Obviously, everybody knows that, you know, fried foods aren't the best for us. So definitely, if you want to start the detox process, it's best to lay off the process and fried foods and start eating more whole foods. Now, I know a lot of times people don't really know what processed food is or what's a whole food. So what it is, is basically when you go to the store, right? For example, let's say dates. Dates sometimes come in like a package. If you go in the ingredients and it just says dates, then you're good to go. But if it says dates, you know, sugar and then other things that we don't even know what it is, then it's been processed. So we definitely want to focus on buying things that are just one ingredient, um, whether that be fruits, vegetables, rice, pasta, usually that's just one ingredient. So yeah, that is what is a whole food. And processed food, for example, if you buy a frozen pizza, you look at the ingredients and there's just a whole bunch of things that we can't even pronounce, then that's a processed food. So we definitely want to start cooking at home more if we're able to and start eating healthy whole foods and that's the very first step in detox because I mean it's hard to detox if you're like constantly putting stuff in that's you know not the greatest so I actually made a guide which is to help people reach optimum health and it's pretty much spells everything out very detailed make sure to grab it download it it's for free and I just want it to be able to help people so make sure to click the link below and um, yeah that's number one also we want to decrease our alcohol and caffeine intake I know this might be hard for some people that, you know, love their coffee, but if you're able to decrease it, it's it's going to help out your liver a lot. So speaking of the liver, the liver is actually the second largest detox organ in our body. I'll tell you what the number one organ is a little bit later, but um, so the liver is so hardworking and basically things that we put into it, it is responsible for clearing all, all the bad things and keeping all the good things. So we really want to help out the liver. So here's actually a recipe that is meant to clear out the liver. Um, it's good to drink it at night for however long you'd like and it's very easy it's only three ingredients so what you'll need is a lemon or lime medium size some ginger about the size of your thumb and eight ounces of warm water and just put it in the blender So the next tip is to drink a lot of water. I know many people might not like water. Um, my suggestion is to start with ice water. I feel like especially when you're thirsty, instead of going for like a soda or a juice, go straight to the ice water and you'd be surprised like how refreshing it is and it's gonna start kind of retraining your brain to like it. I usually don't drink um, anything with like my meals. I heard that it helps with digestion because our stomach has a lot of enzymes that helps break down the food and when we drink, when we eat, it kind of dilutes the enzymes, so it makes it a little bit harder to digest. And I found that to actually be true. So I always drink like maybe 30 minutes to an hour after eating. And after that, you're pretty thirsty. So that water just hits a spot. So that's a way to start drinking more water. Also, lemon water in the mornings. Um, I spoke about this in you know the previous video. Yeah, lemon water in the morning does a great job at like clearing out your system for sure. Exercise. So exercising and gentle movement is great because the number one detox organ, which I mentioned earlier, is actually our skin. So when we sweat, that's literally the body releasing what it has to release. It helps the lymphatic system, which gets rid of all the waste in our body. So yes, definitely gentle movement is something that we should do for at least 10 minutes every day if we can, so yeah. So some extra tidbits is sleep. So not being on the screen for like maybe like an hour or 30 minutes right before we go to bed because you know sometimes it can make it harder for us to doze off and um, getting up at the same time every day. That also helps with like our sleep cycle and everything. And stress, trying not to dwell on things that hurt us and overthink things definitely helps with releasing stress. Journaling, getting out all our feelings and emotion, praying to God is what helps me and just letting it go and really letting it go, not overthinking it, rethinking it over and over again, going to that hurtful place, letting it go and just being grateful helps a lot with stress because a lot of times our emotional feelings does manifest physically. So keeping that in mind, it will do wonders. Click here to watch the top five alkalizing foods to eat daily. And thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, God bless.